and welcome to Ox Venture. And today we are playing a game of Dungeons and Dragons where all of the players are Copals. <laughs> That's the idea. I am going to be the DM for today. I'm Luke Westaway. And look, here are our players, our Cobalt players. That's right. Hi. Who do we have over here? Introduce yourselves, starting with Ellen, who I've sort of just introduced there. But, yeah. who, but what's the second name? I'm Ellen Rose. There it is. Yes, nice to meet you all. And Thanks you'll be playing. Watching. And I'll be playing a Cobalt. a Cobalt. I don't know which one yet. I'm my channel. I'll be playing a Cobalt. Jane Douglas. I'll be playing Cobalt C. Uh, I am Andy. I will be playing a Cobalt. Uh, <laughs> my name is Johnny, and I will be playing a Cobalt who is absolutely ripped. Yeah, yeah, we ripped yeah. potatoes on those abs. Yeah, they've all got a sort of wiry strength to them. But they're not big, right? We're like vis vis just visualizing Small it. Small humanoid. They're like yeah, a few yeah. feet. Uh, uh, we stand a short king. Two or three, two or three feet high. Let's three, say. three in a trench coat equals a person. Yeah. That's okay, so two feet sort of. high. Yeah, yeah feet that's high. the yeah. that's the rule. Yeah. Okay. I'm there. Yeah. Meant. Yes. Enter of the mind. Mm. Uh, well, folks, it's another beautiful day, or night, it's hard to tell down here, in the ore cleft mines. A labyrinthine set of dwarven mining tunnels abandoned many centuries ago. Abandoned by dwarves, that is, because since time out of mind, you kobolds have called this network of dark and damp tunnels home. Oh, kobolds. <laughs> Diminutive, <laughs> aggressive, Lizard-like creatures that dwell in unlit places the world over. Proud, fiercely loyal, and instinctively wary of outsiders. What you lack in raw strength, you make up for in tenacity. And while none would call you wise, you do boast a sort of Oi. collective <laughs> cunning. <laughs> All of these modifiers are negative except dexterity. They, yes. Oh boy, yeah. So, there you go. Mm. Good. Yeah, but but that's uh, that, that's kind of unfair because it's like they're negative according to like the world's <laughs> average. Oh, you know, so yeah. you might be a yeah. charismatic kobold. Maybe. You could be uh, you could be more charismatic than other kobolds, and to be fair, that would still be reflected in your dice roll. So, uh, yeah, you're all kobolds. Who needs self preservation when you have trap making and tunneling? Ooh. Pretty good. Uh, in fact, kobolds, you're all having a wonderful time because today is a very special day. Gitvis the Great Worm, who governs your kobold society, <laughs> has retreated into her lair in the tunnel depths to enter her annual trance. In 24 hours, her song will be complete, and your god, Kirtlemak, will surely be pleased. She is not to be disturbed under any circumstances. Mm. So who have we got then? We've got five uh, kobolds. We've got, going this way round, I'm now pulling up my kobold randomizer. <laughs> Dazdia the Enthusiastic. Dazdia, okay, enthusiastic. I, I wouldn't bother writing the names down if I were you. Uh, we also fun. have Zarya the Easily Discouraged. Oh. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh. <laughs> we, have, no. we have Zra Give the me a good one. Sage. Oh, yeah, Zura. I'm going to write it down because I like my chances. Colgrace, the opportunistic. Colgrace. And Kragook, the impractical. Um, for the purposes of uh, just plain d and I'm going to refer to you by your human names, okay. plus the word kobold, just to like keep things... Sure. Keep things. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, we find you out uh, doing one of the things that kobolds have to do most often, trapping some rats mm -hmm. to smash and eat. Cool. So we uh, we find Captain you in a tunnel. Um, yeah, what are, you, what are you up to? How will you be trapping rats today? Um, uh, constructing some sort of net from the roof. From the roof. A very fine, you know, for the ceiling of the, right. the cave. Um, very fine nets that rats might not be able to squeeze out of. Okay. Extremely fine. More of a mesh. Mesh. <laughs> a mesh. More of a bag. More of a sack. <laughs> More of a hessian sack. Yeah. You I are am... easily discouraged. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be standing by with the killing mallet, which of course is impractically large, so I'm kind of just like... <laughs> <laughs> like a proper, yeah. like... Looney Tunes style. Like, bonk. Yeah, uh, a rat darts out of a, a, a little gap in the wall. Let's see if you can splat it. Yeah, let's try. Uh, yeah, go for it. Let's let's. Well, make me a. That feels like strength. Yeah, probably strength athletics. Probably great. Uh, so that's a two okay. minus minus two. Yeah, this is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you bring a your dirty zero. <laughs> 
You bring your hammer down hard on. Not me. Jane Cup. No. No. <laughs> Roll damage, say, please, on your large me. mallet. You uh, said what would you call the damage on a large mallet? You did say it was impractically it was large. Impractically Let's large. call it a D eight. Okay. No, <laughs> I have five hit points. Well, that's a four. Yeah. <laughs> You're lives. very badly wounded. <laughs> yes. Does my strength modifier come into that? Oh yeah, yeah. No. Oh, so then no. you only take two Thrill. points of damage. Oh, okay. okay great. Thrill lives. Cool. All right. Oh. Yeah. You are. You are hit hard. Probably me. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you. <laughs> <laughs> As you squabble over this, uh, you see something that you never ever see in these tunnels. A light. Ooh. It's coming from around a corner down the tunnel and it's a sort of flickering, glimmering, orangey sort of light. Oh, well this is great, isn't it? It's gonna scare all the rats away. Did, did you any, just give up? Did any blood Why are we even here? When she got hit with a hammer? Yes. Um, a great deal. Cool. I'll One of us is nearly dead. <laughs> Free blood. Having that. Yep, free blood. Good. Whose blood? Mine? Yeah. Well, it's well, just going to go to waste. His now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a little pouch of, of free blood. blood. How opportunistic. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you, see this, you see this flickering light growing, growing larger, and um, uh, it, it's around, around the corner where, the, where this tunnel sort of widens. Um, mm. and, and out of the gloom uh, comes a figure. It is a, it is a human. A human, um, tall, much taller than all of you, um, wearing a oh, uh, he's so much taller than us. Yeah, wearing a headpiece uh, of like finely honed, sort of tangled wood, fashioned into something resembling antlers, draped about with beads and leaves. How well attached is that? Flowers. Well attached. It looks well attached. Cool. What practical attire? I say sincerely. Um, yes, I'll never be able to afford a headgear like that. Uh, the the human comes up to you, Ellen, Kobold, uh, rounding and bends down and you with the. You see that the light you were seeing was a flame flickering in her hand, and she kneels down and says, "Hello, little Kobold." Hi, I love your hat. Sounds distracted. I'd like to try and get the hat off. <laughs> sure, uh, make me a. Well, with sleight of hand, surely. Sleight of hand, yeah. Okay. Dex, Dex sleight of hand. Sure. It's a natural 20. Oh, that's <laughs> what it is. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, as you're staring, there's a sort of blur vroom, above, and the antlers are just kind of vroom, swiped. Uh, and I run off down the corridor again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like small on the human, but big Sorry. in your arms. You're you still, can live in it. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I'm not going to win theft of the week now, am I? Yeah, you run off around a around a corner. It's it's it's, it's uh, minimalistic. It's great. Where's the? Honestly, I tried to be nice. What, what? I'm being nothing but nice. You know what? Never mind. No, no, no! Please do tell tell me everything. I want to know everything. There's nothing to tell. Yeah, uh, you hear another voice from around the corridor. Um, Melina, are you finished? Are we done? Do we always have to be trying to be nice to everything we encounter in a cave? I always think it's worth trying, don't you? Not everything has to be solved with violence. You see two more figures round uh, the corner. There is a um, towering dragonborn in imperious looking uh, robes and a high elf uh, in sort of gray lead colored, um, but quite serious looking armor. Uh, and as she rounds the corner, uh, she pulls a lengthy and intimidating sword out of its scabbard uh, and says, Can we get this over with? Uh, uh, over with? But you've just arrived. Um, guys, we should do a party. We should do something, you know, keep the kids, because, you know, they can't go any further in because we've got to keep the worm, let the worm sleep, the queen. Sleep. I challenge you to a duel. Damn, that's impractical. <laughs> <laughs> Which who are you addressing this? The to? one who's just pulled a massive sword. Oh, okay. And to the one to the dragonborn, I want to say in draconic, sup, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Melina, this is why I told you not to try and negotiate with these creatures. You're wasting time, and we have a lot to get to today. Oh, we're not even the most important thing on their list. Mm. The the yeah, the one with the sword is like. I think this one wants to fight me. I'm Chill going to, you. I'm going to fight it. 
Yeah, she looks um, <laughs> she looks very amused, and right. she sort of gestures in a kind of come at. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stab her with my dagger. <laughs> sure, uh, you can do it, buddy. <laughs> yeah, go for it. You <laughs> can't do it, buddy. Am I, cool. am I less than five feet away? Yeah. Are we well, well we have a pack tactics ability. <gasps> Someone's oh read the character God. sheet. Yeah, I did. It's yep. so short. Um, <gasps> Pack tactics. The kobold has advantage on an attack roll against a creature if at least one of the kobold's allies is within five feet of the creature and isn't incapacitated. You're very nearly. I'm incapacitated. somewhat incapacitated, but there are other kobolds here. That's the beauty of kobolds. Well, if yeah. you're like doubled over, having yeah. taken a massive tonk from a mallet, yeah. maybe I can like launch off your back. Yeah, pack tactics. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Uh, so yeah, you absolutely have advantage on this because there, there are a few of you around. Oh um, right. Let's see if you can hit. It was it was a twenty and then it went boop to an eight. Ah, but a sixteen and Ooh. this is I'm plus four to hit, so that's a dirty twenty. Yeah, a dirty twenty. Yeah, uh, get him. Yes, you you sort of spring up with it your dagger. Ass. I think she's <laughs> alarmed by the speed of this. Uh, yeah, roll me damage on the dagger. One d four plus two. It is. <laughs> that's a one. I do three points of piercing damage. Ah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You you like a sort of. <laughs> Like a rock climber, that's what this is like. You kind of spring at this c- kind of armor, the, the chest piece, and just <laughs> like that in in kind of one of the joints. Do Ow. you yield? <laughs> <laughs> ah! She sort of yells, and uh, she's going to grab you, probably, and I think just throw you into the wall. Yeah, uh, if she can. So let's see if she can make that work. <sighs> Um, yeah, what is your, what's your armor class? Uh, 12. Okay, 16. So yes, that has worked. Uh, I guess I suppose we'll call this... Um, wall damage. This wall damage, yeah, <laughs> uh, Let's call it that. What's this strength? You've died. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, yeah, in a, you, in a crunched up bone heap, you, um, you sort of bounce off of the wall and, and like, like crumpled up the rest of you. Oh, he owed me money as well. Sorry, I'm not getting that well, back. I, I dragged the, I emerged from the shadows and dragged the body into my my little cave. Yeah. Yeah. Trapped or spider? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and my, just means like. <laughs> I withdraw my then. harvesting knife from its sheath. Yeah. <laughs> um, I hiss at everyone else. The uh, your big hammer as you sort of like smash into the wall makes a kind of reverberating boom sound mm-hmm. and um, and this is heard uh, a few tunnels away by another kobold called Dacrid the Vulnerable <laughs> who you are now in control of. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I return from the cave having stashed the hat and I'm now wearing a sort of leather jerkin made of kobold skin. Right. Cool. Um, so all of you are kind of like stood sort of roughly in a line. The four of you now I suppose. The um, Dacrid the vulnerable, you're sort of a few a few tunnels over, but I guess making your way towards the yeah, it's kind of black, 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 black. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So you're all kind of stood um, watching this. You hear you hear a voice from behind you though, where you hadn't seen anyone. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of high pitched voice. It come, comes down from from quite sort of low, kind of like just behind you, and the voice says, um, "This is taking entirely too long. Can we off these and be off?" And yeah, I'm gonna say everyone make me a perception check. Wisdomy minus Wisdom two. Perception, yeah. Uh, including me or am I skilled? Yeah, you. Yeah, okay. you can. It's a five from me. Cool. That's a six minus two. That's an eight. Four. Twelve. 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 Okay. Twelve twelves over here. Couple of twelve o's. Sure. Um, you're just confused and entranced, but the the. These two, these two kobolds, um, you you see kind of j- just behind. You don't know how on earth they managed to kind of encircle and get behind you. Um, but there's a, there's a halfling uh, sort of crouched in the darkness, um, just kind of flipping a dagger um, up and down. Cool. I'd like to try and catch the dagger out of the air. Yeah, go for it. Right. Uh, is that Dex? Um, yeah, slight, sleight of hand again, I think. Okay. Yeah. Dexterous right. Sorry, 19. 19! Wow, that's pretty good. This is only a 14, plus 8. Oh. Uh, yeah, you, you take a swipe at it, and the halfling, uh, for such it is, uh, sees you coming and catches it in midair and just drives it into your ribs. <gasps> um, <laughs> I'm gonna... Well, to see if it... Yeah, it hits. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 
You've died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. R.I.P. Whatever your name was. The opportunist one. As he crumples to the floor, I'd like to say, hello, sometimes I think I love too much. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is only understood by the uh, the tall dragonborn. Oh, um, heck. Who... Uh, I think is he probably the only one who speaks. Do, do Kaimor speak common? Oh, yeah, yeah, we speak common. Yes, we do. Yeah, you do speak common. Yeah, yeah. Bilingual. Okay. Yeah, I say in common. You say in common. Okay. Um, they're all starting to talk. I think we should. I think we should crack on. Uh, <laughs> says, says the fighter. We we don't have we don't have all day. With uh, what? Take me with you. I'll go first. Are you volunteering to be a guide? Uh, yes. Meat shield guide. Whatever you want, really. <gasps> I. I, I I love doing gu- I love doing tours. I'll be a guide as well. Can I, can we, yeah, with do a team. Yeah. yeah. As yeah, yeah, the yeah. sage one in the room, can I assess the? Can I assess these guys, these intruders? Yeah, of course. Like, what are what are their combat capabilities? One of them's got a big sword. Let's call this. I think relative to us, their combat capabilities are instant death for us if we, <laughs> can, if we ever cross them. They might have weaknesses. Someone yeah. might have like a bad knee. I feel like I've got the measure of them now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call this a history check. I think because oh, yeah. yeah, these these are sort of creatures and even weapons and things that you haven't really ever encountered before. So I think this is a test of like, how much did you pay attention when you were listening to old stories that okay. you grandmother Kobold, Kobold. history class and yeah, yeah, such. Yeah. Okay, 12. Ooh. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, yeah, they are, uh, they're, a, they're a fearsome adventuring band, well armored and well prepared. Bad knees? Bad knees? <laughs> uh, poss- I mean, possibly. You're everyone's, limping. Everyone's, everyone's got a weakness. Um, oh. But you can't immediately discern a, a weakness of, of, of these four. Um, they walk with purpose. Uh, what you do see is that um, they each have on their back a a, a, a travelling backpack, um, which looks sort of well stocked, organised, clean, orderly, maintained. Um, they are clear. They clearly don't live nearby. They are. They're like traveling through. They're on a quest. So they have quest. 50 feet of hemp and rope. Oh, yeah. Classic. Riches beyond belief, <laughs> yeah. I say to. But you can all see because it's tied up and looped around mm. on the outside of the pack. It's fair enough. Yeah. Um, can we kick the kobold vending machine and get a new one for Andy? Yeah. Can I? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I already hit it. Yeah. Um, you're Kirk the fun loving. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> Party kobolds. They yeah. me out of the corner. Hey, 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 Little hey. hot shirt. Hey. Where's the party at? Hey. Like Spuds McKenzie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at this point, I think the the high elf is going to sort of shoulder her way to the front and say, like, look, we're very busy and we have somewhere to be and we don't have very long to get there. If you can get us through this hellish mess of caverns faster, then so much the better. Where do you need to get to? Well, I'm not exact. Pass, pass me the parchment. Uh, the dragonborn hands over a sort of map and the druid, for such she is, uh, um, sort of says, with the blessing of nature, and goes like that, and a little fire kind of appears. I stand very close to it. <laughs> yeah. I feel a just, tight just, just, I just feel drawn to the fire. I'm like right there with it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, and they, they have. It's a map, although I suppose none of you have probably ever seen a map. Um, we have tunnel maps. Surely we have rudimentary yeah, tunnel maps. Yeah, you have rudimentary maps. tunnel maps. We don't know about the, the overworld stick. so much. This is, yeah. this is odd, though, because this map doesn't appear to have any tunnels on it at all. It has, like, something that looks like a kind of wavy snake in some, like, wavy wet bits. Uh, and it has some, like, pointy triangles kind of all in a line, <laughs> like, sort of roughly through the middle. Uh, and it has a, a little cross. The Dragon Ball points to that and says, "Like these, these are your tunnels. We're trying. We're, we're that's a piece of paper. <sighs> yeah, the tunnels over here. <laughs> we all point to the tunnels. Helpfully, <laughs> tunnels. We say." <laughs> The dragonborn stands tall and says, I'm sorry, I can't do this. <laughs> Cast. Uh-oh. Ice storm. Oh, man. Uh, oh, I know what that is. I have that. I yeah. never use it. 
Oh, well. Because it's, because it's a war long. crime. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one spell Mample went won't use. So, uh, I, I do use it special, only special occasions, uh, though. I wouldn't use it on kobolds. So, all of you make me a dexterity cool. saving throw. All right. Ah, a two, as befits my station. <laughs> 16. 16 is well. one. Nice. De- wait, dexterity saving. It's plus two. Yep. Plus two. All right, that's 14. Cool. Oh, then I got so a wait, four. You got a four. Four. So, yeah. Forgive me. Okay, so who beat a 15? Mm. Great. Uh, you lot only take six damage. <laughs> <laughs> right. Typical. <laughs> we're, all, we're all dead then. <laughs> yeah, you're all dead. Die would be a stone. <laughs> no, man. It's happened. Yeah. We have a total party. Total party. Yeah. 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 First in history. <laughs> they all died. Finally. Oh, dang it. From quite far down in the nest of caverns. Uh, <laughs> when, when this happens, I'm just like, oh, wow. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> wait, wait, wait. Shouldn't we be doing death saving throws? Aren't we all just hor- like unconscious? And horrible yeah, you're all just unconscious. Okay. Sure. We could just like. If you want, we could do it that way. Um, <laughs> no, I think it's funnier if they <laughs> just go well, splat. I mean, do they get. Let me ask you this. Yes. Do the kobolds do death saving throws when you're not playing them? No. Right. <laughs> uh, also, uh, well, if even if we were doing death saving throws, Ellen and I are perma dead because you've done enough damage to to kill us again. Mm. Yeah. Bring the again in one go. Right. So we've shattered. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, okay, but don't worry. The tunnels are big, Come and on, nearby, Kaz the single-minded. <laughs> we use that. Kaz the single-minded. Gigan the Kaz. unambitious. Unambitious. <laughs> oh, wow. the, Loving these. All the real losers over here. <laughs> Skoka the winning. Yeah, Ooh. Skoka. Dakra to the healthy. Ah, nice. Have two extra hit points. <gasps> and Narka the bland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, we were born to play this one. You notice a. Uh, a very distinct chill kind of whoosh through the through the through the tunnels. And um and some like the, the the walls seem to kind of tremble and shake. Some like pebbles are dislodged from the ceiling. Um now kobolds, I'm going to say for the purpose of, of this session, you don't have like there's no hive mind per se. That's not how you're sort of structured, but there's a kobold vibe check. Mm. And you get the strong sense that like <laughs> see. Yeah. You get the strong sense that like Something's up. Something not good is up, like mm-hmm. further up in the tunnels. Okay. There's a draft. I'm going to go see if I can exclude it. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seems like there's some interlopers in our tunnel. Ha ha. Come <laughs> with me, fellows. I run off. I'm going with him. He's healthy. High knees. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I thought I'd just chill out here for a bit. I'm uh, determined to find out. Who call, calls that cold draft? That's and the role play. Yeah. 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 You, um, I'm healthy to find out. <laughs> <laughs> you wend your way through the tunnels. Um, you you think it came the, the sound came from uh, the other side of of the big deep, uh, which is what you kobolds call a fast flowing underground river uh, that at one point intersects with your your tunnels. Um, and as you move out into uh, like out of your tunnels into a, a larger, more cavernous space, echoing stalactites, stalagmites, all that noise, water rushing along through the middle, reflecting in a sort of river. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, you all have dark vision. Should have mentioned that sooner. What a treat. Um, <laughs> How's it feel? It's great. You peek your, at everything. <laughs> you peek your heads like, like out into this room, uh, and you see on the other side of this river, uh, four tall, dangerous-looking figures. Um, one of them has, you know, just you know, a little sort of druidic, fiery light source, uh, and they are examining the river. Um, one of them kneels down and starts getting, unwinding some hemp and rope. Seems like they're preparing to cross. Mm. And they all have dark vision, if I'm not mistaken. Um, not all Who's of them actually. Mistaken? The ones are human. Yeah. Oh yeah. The druids are human. Poor human. Yep. <laughs> all right. Okay, just making. Second one don't have dark vision unless it's funny for them to have dark vision. I guess I wouldn't know that as a kobold though. Mm. Like, what what races have dark vision? Yeah, yeah no, you wouldn't. So I'm erasing that, yeah. that from my kobold. Just look at brain. which ones are squinting. Yeah, oh. mm. you see very tall. Do they have a light source? I would, I would look yeah, for that. As the a druid, kobold. yeah, mm. oh, yes, the druid, that's druid right. fire. Yes. Yeah, okay, fine. so you, yeah, you understand that. Um, yeah, and yeah, it looks like they're preparing to 
to make an attempt to cross the river. Um, they look mm. dangerous and big, and they're not kobolds. Seems these interlopers have come into our cave to kill all of us kobolds, haha, I say, doing squats. <laughs> okay. Oh, you've gone for gym bro healthy. Right, okay. <laughs> what other kind, what other kind <laughs> is that? <laughs> I don't get. Oh, I get it. <laughs> right. Squats. So they're on the other side of the big deep. We should stop them, haha. Yeah, we could. <laughs> um, or we could just go home. I, I yeah, I would like to march over to them and swim. be like, excuse. The other side of a river. We're, we're gonna swim. Let's swim. No, well, well, let's like, let's yeah. see how they intend to get across this river. I say, doing one arm push-ups. And it is fast flowing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and interrupted somehow. Like, Sabotage it. Yeah. Aha! Well, when I say march up, I mean like march up as close as I can oh. on our side of the bank um, and just shout at them. Oi! What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, I would like to be sure. concealed. Who sure. would like to be concealed <laughs> and who would like to march up to them? Andy likes I'm his extra two hit points. I'm, I'm try and keep single minded, them. so I want, I'm annoyed at them and I want to be like, sure. stop making and cold breezes. All the time. I yeah. say, be ye friends in common. Thanks, bud. Oh. In my tiny cobalt voice, be ye friends. Be ye friends. And I'm like, stop making it cold. <laughs> uh, both of you make me a charisma. Let's call this an intimidation check, actually. That feels All right, right. I make myself yeah. big. Give me a riz check. Make, your, <laughs> yeah. make, yourself, make yourself large. I'm a reptile, so I don't know how that works. Do you have like a frill? Back frill. That's two yeah. together. Okay. Mine's grey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Riz yeah. check. Uh, Go on, Jane. <laughs> Do it for both of us. Eight. <laughs> okay. So that was a two and a, a two and an eight. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. As you... As you near, they don't appear to respond, but they continue talking amongst themselves. They're ignoring you, us. You hear the, we're well, not ignoring you. Uh, you hear the, the tall um, dragonborn saying, I mean, you might all be able to walk along a rope, but I'm not sure I have the balance. I'll have to rely on magic. Uh, oh, hang on, sorry. Um, you missed a few. Uh, it says this to the. Uh, <laughs> oh, they're an adventuring party, all right. <laughs> <laughs> says this to the halfling uh, who glances over in your direction and says, "They're not the ones from. They're not the ones from before. They're new ones. You need to learn to count." She says to the dragonborn. And <laughs> over her shoulder, she's going to fire a, a crossbow twice. So we'll do this at disadvantage. <laughs> 15 and 16, oh. 11 and 6 plus I'm eight. the winningest goal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. You pinned to the wall. You've, You've won the race to the bottom. Attack. Uh, this is why I never do anything. <laughs> 1d6 plus 5. It's mathematically not possible for you to survive this. No. Uh, yeah, you are both pinned fatally to the wall. <laughs> no. It's an um, unhealthy um, decision, yeah. I say, um, doing... Uh, oh, yeah. You're right, sort dead. of okay. So we've got we've got Mike, Andy, and Johnny Cobalt. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Sort of unambitious, healthy, and bland. Johnny, Johnny Cobalt over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Johnny Cobalt over here. I'd like to. Uh, you see this happen. I'd like to approach the edge of the bank and go. Um, excuse me, everybody. It appears you're preparing to cross the river. Uh, I believe I heard one of you say that you're worried about falling in. Um, this this river is quite cold. I just want to say, if you do fall in, resist the temptation to uh, swim. Uh, you'll exhaust yourself and drown. Simply float until you feel your body temperature uh, acclimatizing and your and your breath returning to um, normal levels. Please, thank you. Why is this one telling us about swimming? <laughs> <laughs> Precautionary measure. I know how to swim, Cobalt. Get back in one of your holes unless you want to f taste my blade. Says the fighter. Is what? that true, the swimming stuff, or are you being a deceptive problem? Yeah, what's the play here? Oh, oh, no, no, just, no. just helping. But health and safety. Yeah. Why is everyone helping them? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not helping them. Fighting them would I'm be not doing too narratively interesting <laughs> for my character. They've got main character energy, yeah. so we're, we're helpless. <laughs> but what are you doing here, if, if I might ask? Uh, the this, this is addressed to the... The, the high elf fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, she looks over at the, the the stuff that's happening with the rope, like mm -hmm. pitons are being attached to the end of it, and uh, it's kind of being assembled by the 
um, by the, the halfling rogue who looks like they might be about to do something athletic and cool with it. So she estimates that she's got a minute. Um, well, we're trying to get through to the other side of the mountains. These tunnels were an old, old dwarven mine. Mm. This is a pass through to the other side of the mountains. It's too dangerous to go over the top this time of year. Okay. <laughs> so we're passing through the tunnels, through the deepest point. I understand. And out to the other side. Is this sort of like a, a one, one-time thing, or can, are you building a road? Can we expect more of you? No, we're not building a road. They can't go through the deepest point. That's where the great oh, worm is. Uh, would, or whatever her name is. Have you considered Andres. not going through the deepest surely you, point? Surely you didn't misremember the name of Gitvis the Great Worm. I'm dead. I can't remember anything. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> As my brain cells flare one last time. What if, what I if it, the name what of if my it were gone. fun if you didn't go through the deepest point, but one of the higher up points? that still got you out the other side. That sounds fun, doesn't it? The archaeologist we spoke to in the nearest town told us that there was only one path through the tunnels, the deepest points ah, under the mountains. But the archaeologist isn't here, is he? I'm here. Is there another route? As sure as my name is Narka the Bland, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Make me a, uh, I guess, not terribly well disposed to kobolds so far, having been thieved from a few times. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, yeah, make me a persuasion check. Raise me up. Raise me up inside. Uh, that's an eight in total. Okay. Um, <laughs> the thing is, she says, and then from behind the halfling goes, yeah, it's ready now. Um, and go take takes a running jump and uh, yeah, he's gonna try and leap the river. Huh? Whoa. 18 plus, it doesn't matter. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. kind of flips through the air, uh, lands on the other side and just kind of drives this pit on into, into the thing. Uh, on the other side, the dragonborn is driving in like, another pit on there. And the, um, the uh, yeah, the, the, the high elf who you were speaking to says, um, gotta go. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, just um, hooks onto the underside of this rope and just, uh, Okay, I would like to run out and try and push <laughs> the rogue into the river if they're like leaning next yeah, to okay. in a Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. On. Yeah, go for it. Okay. What is that strength? Dexterity? Push into a river. I think it can be strength or dex, whatever you want. <laughs> dex, <better>. please. <laughs> oh, balls. That's four. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were all healthy. Yeah, no, I'm healthy. For form's sake. Don't show muscle. Mm -hmm. If this is if this is anything other than a one, then I th this feels contested because it's kind of like a no four plus like a million billion. Um, <laughs> yes, you run up and touch the road <laughs> like this. <laughs> such health, <laughs> such vigor. <laughs> it's useless to resist. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dig deep. For reserves I never knew I had. <laughs> <sighs> that looks ambitious. The, <laughs> the rogue uh, sort of turns around. Your, your heads are sort of roughly equal, kind of like height-wise, because they're hunched over. Ye hey, God, you made me jump! Yield! <laughs> Do ye yield? Um, I think she's probably just going to sort of push you into the river. <laughs> um, okay. Fine. But... I like it. You know reverse. <laughs> I, but that's uh, only a uh -oh. 10 oh. plus... A <laughs> 12 <laughs> plus 13. 15. If you can... Yeah, if you could beat a 15... Then Just a straight do. roll or a dex? Dexterity. Yeah, we'll call it. Contested is fun. Nuts. So, yeah, that's a... Eight. You are swept into the river. Um, <laughs> you are carried off into the distance. I think we can assume you drown. I'm a strong, <laughs> healthy. I'm a strong swimmer. You were. <laughs> you sure were. I That's really these, the most I, tragic thing. I train in these rivers every day. <laughs> right. Who's left? We've got. <laughs> we've got the, with the two ones with absolutely uh, no. The no, no bland and 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 <laughs> you're, so you're hiding in the tunnel. I'm not hiding. I'm not doing anything. I'm just sort of standing there. Like, Cool. No motivation. Yeah, <laughs> zero motivation <laughs> to, to engage with this adventure at all. Yeah, okay, sure. Um, all right, well, uh, then I suppose you both watch 
on disinterestedly as, uh, as I fight the current <laughs> swimming up with my strong, powerful, well developed cobalt arms. It's possible. Look, at, look at these swimming swim muscles. muscles. Yeah. 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 It is possible. Look at the delts. No, no. You're absolutely right. It is possible. And there's a rope to grab onto. There's all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Make me a saving, strength saving throw. Strength. Uh oh. 10. You know what? I'm going to say, as the current carries you under, you grab hold of the scabbard of the of the the fighter, the, the high elf who's mm -hmm. sort of like halfway through shimmying across. Um, she doesn't even notice. Okay. Um, and so as she keeps going, you'll you're like a phone child kind of like, to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're like a cobalt phone child. Yeah. And you're just sort of like carried. Cool. Yeah. Towards okay. towards the shore, because that's where she's in. Yeah. All right. I'd like to climb up her and bite her face. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's yeah. Wait, roll that attack. Okay. Uh twelve? Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid on the way up, she notices you're there and you, you snap and she goes like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the attack is avoided. Oh. Um, is she going, I mean, she, she's busy. She's like doing this, it's like, yeah. you're doing this He'll and like, him on the other side. if you were doing this and like a little sort of like gremlin was on you, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know exactly what you do. Oh, I, I, I do know exactly what you do. Uh -huh. Shoot this bloody thing. Uh, and the dragonborn sorcerer uh, with a sigh. <laughs> sigh. Uh, no, actually, the druid's not done anything. With a bored sigh. No, 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 actually with an apology. All of nature is beauteous. I do this for the greater good. Mm -hmm. uh, and cast. Yeah, yeah, sounds awfully familiar. Yeah. Annoying. <laughs> Dragonborn seems a bit capable, though. Yeah, <laughs> not realistic. Let's say Thorn Whip. Um, yeah, yeah thorn, I mean, Thorn Whip is what you'd use for like grabbing something off of it. Yeah. Thing, isn't it? yeah. It um, is. So it's a melee spell attack. What's your uh, armor class? 12. So is mine. Hey. 12? Yeah. That's only a two. Hey. Plus spell casting, which is, yeah. It so misses. Healthy. <laughs> it misses. The thorn whip misses. Yes. What does the it The druid hit? is humiliated. Yeah. <laughs> does it hit School anything else? For does it hit anything else? Does it hit the like person the, I'm clinging the to? The person that... <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say yes. Sweet. And I'm going to roll the damage for that. 1d6. This is the best combat round we'd have with that yeah. so 1d6 piercing down. I'm going to say this has actually went on a pretty high spell slot. Yeah. One, six. Great. Yeah, the thorn whip lashes painfully into mm. the, the um, into the high elf. Nice. And they tumble into the river. Brilliant. Hey. Uh -oh. <laughs> Wait. I say. Wait, Wait, you're still attacked. Still attacked. <laughs> certainly still attacked. Yeah. yeah. All right. Great. Splutter, spluttering, they come up back to the surface. And, what the hell do you call? So I nearly dressed that at you, Ella. It's really unfair. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do you call that? Stupid druid. Can't do anything right. I'm trying to drag them under the surface. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. Um, let's make it a strength, strength contested. And then. It's a uh, natural twenty. <gasps> <gasps> okay. <laughs> that does beat an eighteen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. I would like to drown them. <laughs> <laughs> let's hit the. First, let's hit the cobalt vending machine to yeah. see to see who, who needs to refresh. Da, da, da. We need three new cobalts, right? Who are popping their heads no, out of only the two new cobalts? Only two. Only two new cobalts. Unfortunately, yeah, we. That's right. Still here. Yeah. Yeah. Are doing just fine. <laughs> I'll have one. John. Ah, we've got Zias the wishful Aww. and Era the vacuous. Era the vacuous. Uh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, you're on mining duty. You poke your heads out and you see all of this, all of this playing out before you. How exactly are you trying to drown? Basically trying to scamper up to the sort of head and neck region and be like pushing down and like kicking with my legs and trying to yeah, okay. get them under the water. Okay, I'm going to say you rolled a natural 20. So I'm going to say yes, uh, the the high elf is underwater and is drowning. Um, the druid, probably feeling a deep pang of guilt and shame, uh, as druids seem to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> shouts, Giltnir! And I think it's going to try. They're all going to try their best to save their. How fast flowing is this river? How far fast. down have we. How far are we moved? 
Like this fast. Oh. Fast. <laughs> To be fair, that's, that, I think that gave you an impression. It did. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's fast flowing. I mean, like once sort of caught in this, like you've only got you've got Zero seconds friction. before you are swept into a sort of tiny little opening and then down a sort of series of drowning tunnels. The halfling um, is going to uh, take her dagger, uh, throw it into the middle of the rope. Uh, expertly sort of cutting it, losing the dagger in the process, Uh, then sort of pull out the piton uh, and then throw the piton like that as a kind of lifeline. Damn, they're good. That is good. It's going to grab for that. It's only a four. Why aren't they going to grab it? (gasps) Drown, drown (laughs) to the depths. Um, Uh Aha. What are, you doing? <laughs> what are you doing while they're drowning? Drowning, biting them on the face. <laughs> yeah. The, the, yeah, I think the the halfling, the druid, and the dragonborn are going to watch in total shock and confusion that this has somehow happened. <laughs> as um, as as Geltnir, their most capable warrior, uh, so humiliating. With a yeah, with a with a cobalt sort of stuck to her face, <laughs> chomping furiously. Yeah, it sort of tumbles and is, is gone and then, yeah, it's kind of sucked into the, yeah, sucked into the tunnels at the end of this passage. Well, I guess that's it for, for me as well. Oh yeah, for, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eric Vacuous toddles up to the water's edge, <laughs> gnawing on a, a hunk of salt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tr- and es- essays, essays, what's going on? I suppose. So. Okay. Well, now we've got so now we've got on on one side of the river the halfling, and then the druid and the dragonborn on the other. Uh, the dragonborn is going to close his eyes. To lose a companion on the battlefield is a pain that never eases. For all your training, you always feel it, and you see them every night. I think we underestimated these tunnels. They're natural threats. Rivers, darkness, are more dangerous than I thought. Huddle. Um, the halfling, I think, is just going to sort of leap over the river again. Yeah, fine. Which side uh, of the river am I on? Which side do you want to be on? With the people. With the, yeah, with the, the people. With the party of adventurers. Yeah, with the party yeah, of adventurers. Yeah, yeah, yeah with the party of adventurers. So the three of them are kind of like... Call me adventurous. Getting in <laughs> uh, You hear the, the, the druid says, um, I would like to say a few words uh, for Giltnir. Sing a song of my people to mark their passing. And a haunting um, druidic song um, <sighs> fills the cavern. So magical. <laughs> To be an adventurer. The halfling and the dragonborn sort of Sounds roll their eyes, but the druid's eyes are shut, <sighs> so they don't see this. I'd like to kind of scurry into their also scene ent- circle. And- also entering the scene, by the way. Oh, yeah. Gordrum the Confused. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nice. Does everyone now have a kobold? What's going on in here? Everyone's got a kobold. <laughs> I'd like to Who scurry are all these people? I scurry into their singing circle and tunelessly join. <laughs> What's that liquid? Yeah. Um, Why is it flowing ah. fast? <laughs> it's water. It's quite spicy. Ah. Um, Don't drink too much of it. The druid's eyes open. Ah. Your tuneless singing, and they, the three of them kind of look down <laughs> in the middle of them, at, and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> um, I offer them a lick of my salt, salt rock. The druid um, closes her eyes, furrows her brow, and then bends down and says. I make it a point to treat all of nature's wonders with respect. And while on the surface, you kobolds may be considered hideous and not worthy of protection, it is my belief that unless it be absolutely necessary, all life in this beautiful earth and in the heavens should be preserved. Oh, that's beautiful. That said, you interrupted my funeral song for a very, very old friend. So, unless you want to be... (laughs) And what is this? What's this in your hands? I 
crack her across the face with my sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a big, <laughs> big chunk of salt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Salt mines. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Assault sure. mines. Um, hey. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, roll it with advantage because. Right. Yeah. Surprise. Mm-hmm. Because surprise. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, you're trying to beat a 15. It's dex or strength. I don't know which one I want it. It can be dex. It can be dex. All right, with advantage, that is a 9 or a 19. Whoa! Hey! Oh! Amazing. I tell you what, roll me a d8. Okay. Oh, four. Nice. Square in the jaw. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a crack. Um, oh, bloody hell! <laughs> Druid says. Ooh. Pull up, spitting out a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> they are part. <laughs> Gentle kobold, I suspect you know not what you do. Can I steal I- the tooth? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 of course you can try. I can Sli- try. Yeah, yeah, sleight of hand, yeah. Wow. yeah. Looking at the situation, I read like what's going on. I'm like, I know what's going on here. I start singing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 18. Uh, 18. Um, yeah, mm. you steal the tooth. Uh, eat it. <laughs> I, I eat the tooth. <laughs> Gain its knowledge. <laughs> crunch, 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 crunch. Goes the tooth. Little kobolds, we are on a most essential quest, and though it concerns matters far greater than I believe you or your fellow kobolds would ever dare to have comprehended, trust me, in the long run, it would be very beneficial to you if you would just let us go on our way and go on through. We are on a mission of extreme importance, and the faster we get to the other side of the mountains, before that bloody wizard catches up with us, the sooner we'll be out of your hair and gone. So. Sorry, I didn't get any of that. Clack, clack, clack. I want to stand next to Jane Cole. Yeah. We don't really have hair as a rule. <laughs> Is that why they're here, for hair? Um, you know, you've come to the wrong place if you want hair. While, while, this, is, uh, while this is happening, the, um, the, the halfling has sort of put another rope across. In fact, no, they're not going to do the rope plan again, are they? Um, the dragonborn has picked up the halfling and just <laughs> lobbed, lobbed her over. She lands uh, tidily on her feet. Uh, yeah, and now they're making a sort of rope swing. Um, that kind of, yeah, to, while this conversation is happening, they've basically assembled it. Um, and the, the dragonborn is kind of like tying it around. His, as he goes to swing, he says to the druid, this is why we don't talk to them. It takes a very long time. It's not worth it. While he's saying this, I've, I'm so un- unambitious. I'm like, this adventuring stuff yeah. is... Poor Mike, you've been stuck <laughs> with the unambitious people. Is nonsense. And you're role-playing them so And I'm well. like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to go back to trapping rats. That's what I was doing this morning. And so while they've been constructing the rope swing, like while they're at one end getting ready to use it, yeah. I'm going over to the other end maybe and, and just untying it because I'm like, well, this will make a good rat trap. Rope. Sure. You've seen a good rat trapping resource. Yeah, I clamber over to rope. where they've, they've attached it or whatever, and I'm like, oh, you know, this will be good for trapping rats. Good strong rope. Sure. Better than the rope we've got down here. Yeah. Uh, let's so say I'd like to try and untie it. It's attached to in into the. It's been kind of driven into the roof. So yep. the dragonborn just kind of like threw it in with a, immense strength. Um, I, can, I assume I can clamber a bit. Yeah, of course you can. You can clamber on the walls and ceiling. These mm. are, this is your domain. Mm. Uh, yes, yeah, so my hand actually, because this all seemed wildly unsafe. Uh, and I, it's frankly, it's a bit too safety officer. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to fathom what these two are doing. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> no, idea. no idea. Uh, yeah, make me a stealth check. I think. Okay. Um, Deck stealth. That is a 16 plus two is 18. Roll it with advantage as well because uh, okay. you're being helped. Uh, I'm just there. still still the 18. Occasionally it? whispering. Careful. Careful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so up on the, up, yeah, this, yep. again, this is like a sort of metal pit on that's been kind of driven yeah, I'm just in. Gonna, um, so what are you doing? You kind of take just untying the rope. Untie, just untying. Yeah. Nothing too ambitious. You untie. I'm not going to try and force it out. I'm just going to, yes. you know. <laughs> so, of course. So you untie the rope. Yep. Now the rope is in your hand. The other end is wound around the sort of forearm of a yeah. dragonborn. Okay. And is he going to try and swing? 
Let's make a... Sorry, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a saving throw for the Dragonborn. Yep. Yeah. Uh, a wisdom saving throw to see if he notices. He spots it. This is to see if he has the sense to do what I think sensible Tab adventures yeah. would, would do and yeah, give an exploratory test. But maybe he's already, I don't know, depends what stage I untied it, but yeah. That's a 15. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is why we don't talk to them. <laughs> You are pulled into the room. <laughs> <laughs> and swept away. No. Um, You're so ambitious. And you even trying that was too ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> Swim for the bank. He doesn't want to. No, I don't think no, so. Right. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but who's this poking his head out the wall? Why, it's Shrang the Puritanical. <laughs> Not that guy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, here we go. Here to stop everyone's fun. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Where were we? Meanwhile, the druid is, uh, yeah, probably, um, probably at about the end of her tether. Um, no, isn't the dragonborn at the end? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, Sorry. Yeah, the, the the halfling's already across. The dragonborn, uh, having just lost the rope, sword this, I'm swimming. Um, <laughs> and he's going to try and swim across. Oh no, it's a critical one. <laughs> <laughs> Can I throw yeah. him some sort of like, well, I see as a buoyancy aid or something. Yeah, so that's nice of you. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Is it yeah. trying the puritanical? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Can I... Oh no, it's probably gonna be strange. Can I pick, like, is there like a wood beam or something? Like, you know how like, uh, mines are often like buttressed? Yeah, it's very, uh, yeah, it's very, very old because yeah. kobolds didn't put it in here. The dwarves would have a long, long time ago. But I reason wood floats, so I'm gonna try and... Yeah, very, very big wood beam thrown Which feels at like slash strength. two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, five minus two is three. Five minus two is three. <laughs> um, now it's gonna Drish. hurt someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kabatos. Uh, it, well, I mean, it's a very big sort of wooden beam, right? Yeah. You're sort of tottering right. to the edge. Grab onto this. <laughs> Sinful <laughs> speech. <laughs> you just you just tumble forward into the water. Like <laughs> oh, with the wood. Well, that's a bit wet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I'll swept away. <laughs> It is a sin to be swept away on a Tuesday. This is exactly the kind of thing that Nimchair the Cowardly, uh, <laughs> who's, never on, who's, who's patrolling up and down these tunnels and enters from some direction or other, mm. hates to see. Uh, yeah, so the Dragon Ball rolled a one and is drowning. I'm going to give the Druid a chance to save them. I don't want to jinx it, but it feels like collectively we're doing a great job. Yeah. <laughs> um, the uh, druid's attention is by the by the splash uh, drawn away from you, um, Jane Kobold, uh, and seeing the dragonborn go, um, the druid leaps into the water uh, and in midair <laughs> explodes into a giant octopus yeah. uh, and. <laughs> Dives into the water. An affront to the gods! <laughs> wow! Oh. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I don't know! Uh, yeah, the, the, the dragonborn is swept up and rescued and, and dumped on the, the, other, the other side of the shore. Where My the... vacuous mind has been broken <gasps> by yeah. the sight of an octopus, which I had, had ne never even dreamed of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, having seen them get out of the river, yeah. um, I'm a little confused. I think. They meant to be in the river, so I'd like to just give them a shove back to where they're supposed to be. Sure. Uh, which who are you shoving in particular? Uh, the octopus, they're... the dragonborn, or the halfling, um, or all three? How are they arranged currently? Uh, well, the oct the giant octopus is on the side of the river in a in like a big wet heap. Yeah. And the dragonborn is untangling itself from its tentacles, cool. and the halfling is uh, just stood there laughing uproariously. At Let's go with that one. Cool, okay. Because yeah. the other two came out of the river. I wanted to put them back in the river, but I got confused on my way over and pushed the one who wasn't in the river. Sure, so, okay. Yeah, so uh, make it a... Yeah, let's make this a grapple check. That feels fair to me. Yeah. What did you get? Um, well, I 
got zero. Dirty zero. <laughs> Dirty zero. Yeah. <laughs> I see you. Uh, uh, I see you going to push the, them in the river, and I'm like, "Yes, my brother. Unclean are they? They must be cleansed by the flowing waters of the <laughs> And I go to also push them in as well. <laughs> my sure. character seems very sort of capable and forthright, and not scared. May I clamber onto his shoulder for safety? <laughs> yes. Great. It's like <laughs> I'm kind of like holding onto your chin and just like riding atop your shoulders. Mm. Yes. Okay. A most holy union. You're on the other side of the river. You can get to the. Which one's on which side? There's the halfling on the, on the side. All the adventurers, right, are have now crossed the river, right. Um, But you two went up and talked to them before they crossed. Yeah. So you are on the, you are on the. But I am a rebooted. I'm a rebooted kobold coming from wherever I like. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we'll have these three kobolds on that side. Would you all like to shove the halfling? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm trying yep. to do. I'll probably start flailing if I get too close. Here's what we'll say. <laughs> when I rolled for the halfling in this grapple check, yep. it was a 21. You got a zero. Yeah. If cumulatively, <laughs> you can beat to 21. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's uh, math- mathematically possible. May yeah. we use pack tactics? Yeah. We have become like a yeah. megazord. Yeah, well, sure. So yeah, that's true. so we're rolling at advantage. Mm-hmm. And we're looking to cumulatively be at 20, 21. 21, which is possible. It's possible, yeah. Not likely, but... Okay, that's <laughs> my first roll is a 6. Okay. Minus 2 is 4. I'm assuming this is strength. Is it de- strength or dex? Strength, okay. I think. Yeah, yeah. My second roll is a 19 minus 2, which is 17. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I rolled a 5 and a 1. So 5, uh, five minus 2 is 3. <laughs> Oh, oh, 20 rather than 21. Oh, oh so close. Oh. Oh. Heartbreaking. The three of you walk up. <laughs> Wait, do I not get pack tactics for my roll? Go on then. All right, so you roll to success. Unless it's a dirty zero. Unless it's a dirty zero. Zero. <laughs> Why did I say anything? <gasps> what it's is it? It's a zero. It's a zero. <laughs> 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 The three of you um, <laughs> jog up. And, the three of you jog up and place your hands on the halfling. Um, the gods have not <laughs> smiled on us this day. Uh, who I think is probably <laughs> just going to swing her dagger a wider. Pum pum. I think and, Andy Colborn, you were so confused that you pulled. <laughs> mm. yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the Gary Larson cartoon Wait where he's pushing on the yeah. pool door. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you not keep touching me? Um, <laughs> say, and she'll. Um, yeah, I'm going to say she's going to do this in one movement. She's just going to try and dagger. <laughs> and like you. Yes. <laughs> yes, you all, you all, you all, you all fall. <laughs> wow, two ribbons, yeah. you say? Like that. <laughs> yeah. Two shreds, you say. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, and quite um, confusing. That yeah, was they, the the three nice. of them, very confusing. The three of you, the three of them step over. Uh, don't even really notice. Disdainfully step over your corpses and <laughs> head out of this tunnel, and onwards and downwards. All right. Uh, now you two kobolds are um, still on the other side of the tunnel, uh. Uh, so you can find a way to cross the river, or you can uh, disappear like back into the tunnels and take your time. And, you know, okay. there'll be ways through the rocks. Well, I'm to... very stupid. Sure. But... We're all very stupid. Isn't <laughs> <you>? <laughs> we we've lived down here for a long time. Yeah. yeah. I search my. My dim memories for do kobolds cross the big deep? Do, do we have a means of getting across this big river, or do we leave? Do we leave it alone? Do we go other ways? Do you if have... it's in the middle of your house, you've encountered. You've, yeah. I think in the same way that I sort of clambered over to get to the, where the rope swing was. Like we must yeah. have roots yeah. of just sort of. Your kobolds, you would probably just <laughs> up and yeah, around us. I, I think I'm gonna. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna try that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you need to. Do you need to? Yeah, you're trying to scamper on the ceiling. Just just add advantage because you're mm-hmm. mobile and stuff. Just make me a quick dex check. All right. Dex acrobatics. I... <laughs> just don't whiff it. 17. Just skitter do. across the... Well, if, to if be honest, the roll... quicker way to get back to the other side is... Well. <laughs> <laughs> if you roll the critical one... <laughs> does critical it, one? No, you disadvantage... Can... You still get advantage. Still, okay, okay, yeah. okay, just yeah. double check. Well, that's... <laughs> that's still a, a, one. a dirty one. A dirty one. You've got a critical one and a, a dirty one. <laughs> So I either got one or minus one. Mm, sure, sure. 
You plunge headlong, in, you plunge headlong into the waters and are swept away. <laughs> You're the only kobold alive in the room, Jane Kobold. How did the you lonely do? and vacuous. Yeah. Uh, I rolled a 17. So 17, I... yeah. Do you... You scamper along, yeah. um, and you yeah you see Take my way across the rock ceiling. You see the three adventurers. Uh, the druid is now the unoccupied. The corpses of my kobolds compatriots. Do sure. They, do they have anything good? Uh, do they have anything good? Do they have anything? Yeah, they've got scraps of leather, half a rat. That one of them was saving <laughs> um, uh-huh. for a special occasion. <laughs> yeah, one of them has a sort of bent piece of copper. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. No, my bent copper. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours now. All right, and then I toddle after the adventurers. Yeah. Okay, who needs a new kobold? Me. <laughs> okay, we have Grack the paternalistic. Or oh. Eraz the prim. <laughs> Thaz the trendy. <laughs> and Bing the private. <laughs> I think you can get arrested for doing that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to say that the four of you that I just named um, are on, uh, well, I guess, what, what do kobolds do apart from mining and catching rats? Uh, you're, rats. you're in trap R&D. You're testing new kinds of traps <laughs> uh, in a in a, um, in a a part of the tunnels that, to be honest, you don't often come to because they're a little frightening and you don't really understand them. Um, so, the reason that you don't like this space uh, is because there are some objects in this room that um, that we're here since the days that it was a dwarven mine, and you don't understand them. You don't like them. They seem a bit dangerous. Um, it is a. Uh, it's like it looks like a big metal squared off bucket, and it's on. It stood on circles, great big circles, mm. along two strips of metal. And next to it, there's a great big lever. You know what a lever is, because mm. you use levers in traps. Um, but it's rusted tight, and mm. no, no, no cobalt has the strength to move it. Um, and these, uh, these, uh, the, these tracks, um, sort of like head off down in, into the darkness. Um, you hear voices um, coming around the bend, and uh, yeah, the you see the the advent the form of these interloping adventurers come around the corner, and the the halfling spotting this contraption goes, ah, oh, amazing shortcut, sir. We appear to have intruders, sir. Stand behind me, everyone. Sure, you all guests, and I start. <laughs> Rearranging my tiny loincloth to make sure it's all straight. I'd like to appraise their outfits. <laughs> See how trendy they are. Yeah. Yeah, fair and yeah, they're nice. No need to roll for that. Okay, so yeah, the um the nicest ones, uh, you'd say if they were dry, uh, these would these would these would look even fancier, but the dragonborn is wearing uh, sort of deep crimson uh, robes with a with a, a silver insignia blazoned on the front. Um, it looks uh, sort of warlike and uh, and yet wise, um, and there are sort of like polished steel pauldrons mm. as well. Uh, and he holds a. I pick a up a couple of rats and place them on my shoulders. Aww. Yes, yes, you're imitating it perfectly. Uh, the halfling is uh, dressed in practical, uh, dark, um, supple leather clothes. Um, they are. Uh, Thin, warm, off little, off a little in protection in the way of like protection to a to a direct hit, but they are certainly quiet and practical. Cool. I take a hunk of coal off the wall and rub it all over my leather strips to sure. darken them. To darken them, mm-hmm. and the uh, and the druid. We've already described the druid. It's a lot of moss and flowers and cool. furs. Um, all right. The only thing, the closest thing I have to that is rat guts. So I sort of. Strew them around. A garland. Garlands yeah. and rackets. Garlands. Yes, yes. You and are then, looking yeah. considerably more fashionable. Hmm. Um, add plus two to any charisma check. <laughs> 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 it is. 
You've got a <laughs> plus one charisma. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does that take you to plus that one? Plus oh, one. Yeah, all yeah. right. God, I love kobolds. That's so more than Meryl went. <laughs> Could I? I'd like to ready my sling. Kobold is more charismatic than Meryl. <laughs> yes, I'd like to ready my sling and hold out a hand and say, Halt! I am Private Bing of Her Worthy Majesty's Army and Secret Military Division, if, if you must know. What are you doing here? You're not authorised to be in here. Her Worthy Majesty? This is the halfling. Who's Her Worthy Majesty? Oh my god. Do you have a... Do you have like a... A king or a, or a queen or something? We've been compromised! I want to th- try, <laughs> <laughs> try and... I'm gonna launch sure. my slang at, at, at them. Yeah, this is the, the, the halfling. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Seems... And I'm gonna hiss. Don't be rude to our guests! Sure. Make that attack for me. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a 17 to hit. You've got advantage because we we're all hanging around together. Yeah, 13 yeah. won't do it, but a... Seven also won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what, the shot's on target. Um, still laughing at the concept of uh, kobolds having some kind of hierarchy. Uh, the halfling just steps out the, steps out the way of the, of the, the pebble. Being the private. And it taps, oh, no. it taps off the wall. <laughs> As I was saying, this is going to get us there a lot faster. Look, it goes down. We'd have to be mad to get in that thing, uh, says the Dragonborn. It hasn't been touched in centuries. We would be fools to climb in this device. We could easily be killed. And the druid says, nothing. They just look thoughtful. Cool. I also kind of look thoughtful. Yeah. <laughs> so they're arguing amongst themselves, basically. Uh, from their point of view, they've just descended deeper into this dungeon mm. that they are crawling. Uh, and they've been faced with two branching paths. There's the path that, that like you lot are sort of occupying, hanging around on that you came from. That's like, that's one tunnel. And then on the other way, there's this like minecart track. Um, and they are trying to decide whether or not it's worth it to use the minecart. Um, the halfling is arguing vehemently in favor of using it. Um, they're saying that uh, we don't we don't have a lot of time. Even now his armies are massing. If we want to get to the other side of the mountains, we have to take every advantage we can get. Damn the risks! And the dragonborn is saying, risks, fine. But wisdom is important. Patience. Mm. What's the we're not gonna to get to the other side of the mountains if we die in these hell this these hellish caverns, are we? Hey Daddios, I say. Uh, no, that's you, me. Cool, you cool cats thinking of using the uh, <laughs> You cool cats thinking of using the big metal bucket? Yeah. Oh. Really disrupt the space. Love it. God, there are more of them in here. <laughs> <laughs> think, that's right, you're outnumbered. Sah. I think we should do it. I think we should get in. Let's uh let's turn this whole thing upside down. Let's try something new. The druid is going to crouch down by you, Corazon Kobold, <laughs> and say Sweet Kobold. Though on the surface you are reviled for your hideousness and lack of civilized ways. I, I look at my my rat pauldrons and yeah. adjust them. <laughs> Itchy. Fleas, most likely. Can happen. I could ease the suffering that you feel from fleas. Uh, by Okay. <laughs> by immediately Animal killing you. The if, fleas you would, off. <laughs> if you would do us a favour in return. Yeah, yeah, man, what is, what is, what's going on? Know ye where this this path leads? Yeah. These tracks? That's classified, sir. Yeah, it's like, it's over there, you know? You know, you know, you don't have to impress everyone. We're your family and we, we love you and we appreciate you. So I think we should get in this car, man. Oh, Just see I don't, goes. I <laughs> don't want you getting in it's the like car. New, I think it's too dangerous. Places, do you want right? to be grounded again? <laughs> cool, cool stuff to do. Look, I will take you know? away your privileges. I'm just gonna disrupt, turn this disrupt mine cart around. <laughs> yeah, I will turn this <laughs> mine <laughs> I kind of would like to climb into the, into the uh, get stuff. back here. <laughs> <laughs> on, the lever. on the lever, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah the, lever, the lever, the lever doesn't budge at all, yeah. but yeah, it makes a kind of, sort of rattly sound, bits of rust flake off of it. I'm just excited we're in, to see. We're in trap R&D, right? Yeah. All right, I'm intrigued to find out what this thing can do, what its military applications <laughs> might be. Oh, sure. In the hand. Oh, uh, okay. The both of us. Yeah, so you're both. <laughs> Private, no! <laughs> yeah. No one's in the minecart right now. They're just sort of like oh. stood, stood next, stood okay. next to it. Well, still. 
Yeah. Sure. Yes. Um, both of you make me a strength. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping on the bandwagon. <laughs> Seven, sir. Uh, uh, four. Yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't budge at all. Yeah. <laughs> I meanwhile have prepared tea for our guests. It's small cups of rat blood. <laughs> <laughs> tea, tea, I'm so sorry. I'm terribly rude of me not to offer it earlier. Tea, tea, tea. This one is offering some sort of disgusting drink. Well, you haven't tried it yet. Tell me, beast, is this your urine? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> not convinced. <laughs> Maybe a deception check. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that charisma? Deception? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be a seven then. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Could I... lemon and ginger. <laughs> Depending on what you mean. <laughs> I once ran. <laughs> it's hard for a kobold to be prim and proper. Too sure, yeah. <laughs> I once ran 25 miles to warn my clan of an approaching threat. And you think I lack the stamina to get through these tunnels without resorting to drinking whatever infected bilge that is. Now, Why are we still talking to the kobolds? You, you, Let's get well, down there's this no tunnel. We're to not... be rude. Yeah, he's tried hard. Yeah, you're being I quite beastly it. now. I know you're our guests. But I think this is extremely rude. Is anyone else finding house? it very hard to think with all of these living kobolds? Around? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I, won't, <laughs> I won't be spoken to like that in my own house. Now, could you please leave? <laughs> make, make me a pers- make me another Christmas <laughs> persuasion. Get a riz check. <laughs> Christmas persuasion to ask. Uh-huh. Oh, That's the <laughs> <natural> one. <laughs> Okay. Okay. It's going to be Scorching Ray. <laughs> Get scorched. Is that, is that bad? Actually, you know what? <laughs> it's a dragonborn. Let's you know use. when Scorching Ray's been to town, I'll put it that way. <laughs> um, let's use Breast. That's like a great jazz oh. musician. <laughs> yeah. Okay, everyone make me a constitution saving throw, please. Oh, oh everyone, right, understood. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're all in this cone. Now 20, baby! Nice! 17. Oh, That's hang on. A... That's still only half damage. I'm still dead. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> Three. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, four yeah, minus yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, uh, nine. Cool. All right. We're like tiny dragons, but we don't. We're not even resistant to fire. Yeah. It's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Jane Cobalt's gonna arrive and just be like, "Well." <laughs> uh, okay. Who beat thirteen? I did. Brilliant. Well done, both of you. Uh, now I need to find out what the damage is on breath weapon. <laughs> you, you know this. You don't have to remember, do you, Mike? Oh, why, how would I remember that? It's I think it might be two D eight from playing D and D for six years. Three D six. Is it 3d6? It is. 3d6. Mm. We might be lucky. I never Three. used breath work. Oh. Plus. Oh. Okay. One. Hey. Oh. Plus. Yeah. Either way we're dead. Oh. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. So what was, so what's that token? As this Honey. breath work thing goes off, I leap in front of the other yeah. three. <laughs> so we take half damage of eight, so that's four points of damage. Yeah. And we have five. You two are reduced to one hit point. You are terribly burned. Yeah, I want to do the platoon thing. Like, nah! yeah. Yeah. Well, Meanwhile, I'm doing the Sarah wish. Connor in Terminator 2. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a kind of the Dragonborn uh, with all of the cups of whatever. and Yeah, all yeah the, the tea boils off and it smells quite a lot like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> you really boiled his piss yeah. in, the, in the first place. What the yeah. Dragonborn does is just shout, ENOUGH! But a, a huge cone of fire. <laughs> Uh, just three of you uh, evaporated. Okay. You two, I would like you, to... you're alive, but <laughs> I'd, like to, uh, I'd like to try and style it out like I meant to go on. Fire. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the, oh. the new thing the is new to have <laughs> you're, you're not on fire. 
Yeah. You've, never, you've never tried it? This season, if you've got lots of skin, you're nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the look. At this point, I'd like to arrive in the R&D department, sort of yeah. plap, 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 plapping down the corridor, yep. sort of arrive on the scene. Here you are, <laughs> grim and pedantic. <laughs> wow, look Oh, at no, I'm still, I'm oh, still the vacuous. vacuous. Oh yeah, of course you are. I've just been taking oh. a very long time to follow yeah. you. I can't believe she's how long you've survived. Amazing, plap, plap, yes. Plap, plap, plap. Look at her, she's rock. still got all her skin. Mm. Cool, plap, plap. loser. Oh, that's all right. Nice. I yeah. set my two brain cells to work sure. on the minecart track. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's called. The metal thing. Mm -hmm. And it leads deeper into the tunnels. I dimly have a sense that it goes deep. Both paths just sort of go, well, you know where one lead leads. It goes down, further down into the net, further down into the network. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I have a sense of where our great worm lives? And oh yes, of course. Is it at the end of either of these two, both of these two? Parts? Well, you have no idea where the minecart goes because it's scary and you've not right. explored it and you're afraid of it. Mm. Um, the other path uh, leads down further into the into the earth. Mm. It's a, a vast series of interconnected tunnels, um, but there is certainly a route through there to get to uh, Gitvis the Great Worm, who is currently that. meditating in yeah. in in a There's silence. There's one thing I know. Song that must be not in, be interrupted. Is that yes, mm -hmm. the thing you said. Yeah. Okay. So if your if your goal is yes. to get them all, to keep them away from Gitvis the Great Worm, mm -hmm. then yeah, the minecart is the bad. Is, is bad? Is if good. you want to get them away from Get This the Great yes. Worm, the minecart is good. Oh. Because the tunnels... I'm role playing vacuous and that's why I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yes. say that. Yes, it's yeah. just yeah. top tier role play. <laughs> <laughs> really the character. Okay. Mm. You don't you don't know where the minecart tunnel goes. It's, it could, could, it could go right to the worm. Could go right to the worm. It's scary though. But as far as it we is know. It's scary. You don't know. I'm desperate to be the first person to ride this minecart. Yeah. So, even though I'm on fire. A trendsetter. Yeah, maybe another, <laughs> maybe another I'll tell you what, make this an advantage because I imagine there's a sort of like desperate adrenalized. <laughs> <laughs> and metal sort of expands when it uh, heats up. So That's you know, true. I'll tell you what, all the rust has been blasted off yeah. this thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is strength, right? Yeah. Seven. Sized. Screw it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're a soft click as you, as, as it surprisingly, having been fire blasted, just like that. Uh, and rust off. Yeah, and with a kind of little screeching sound, which sounds a bit like a kobold. But... Father? <laughs> uh, I look around and no, be I'm like, dead. This, uh, <laughs> this something. No, I've been writing it for years. Yeah. Um, everyone, everyone who's still alive, or one of the adventurers, just watches as one of the kobolds just sort of slowly, <laughs> faster and faster, just like, like yeah. that. An extremely burnt and kind of crispy yeah. kobold. Yeah. <laughs> um, looking really smug. The halfling is going to see this and go, God, we're missing our chance now. Uh, the halfling wants to ride this thing. The dragonborn. They're gonna have to make a decision now. The Dragonborn doesn't want to ride this thing. They're gonna have to make a choice. I'm I, sorry. <laughs> I can't think of. I'm really. I sorry would like to it. shout to them. Oh yeah. Um, okay. With my my plus one charisma. Yeah. I'm like um, probably room for a few others on here if anyone wants to join. I mean, I do it all the time, but. I'm punching yeah. the dirt and repeatedly screaming, "God damn you all to hell!" So the vibe, <laughs> the vibe at, at base is not great. Sure. So maybe yeah, leaving the area is preferable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Roll. Roll me it. You, you have that pack advantage as well because I think there are pack, still some pack advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's nineteen. Yeah. The halfling um, is going to uh, turn around and say to, to the dragonborn uh, and say, "Look, I'm not waiting another minute. I'm getting in this thing." Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and they, they hop into they hop into the minecart, leaving the dragon. But okay, does the druid like the dragon one more or the halfling more? <laughs> the uh, yeah, um, the druid is is so torn. How can I choose between my two most faithful traveling companions? I don't know. I don't know. Can't we be at peace? Can't we stay together? 
Aren't we more powerful to... But like, as this happens, the, <laughs> the opportunity <laughs> top on the minecart basically yeah. leaves. Um, yeah, you and the halfling, it starts to gather speed, the minecart, mm-hmm. and suddenly as it kind of like tips down into a slope to... Uh, yeah, you're you're hurtling now through parts of the tunnels that you've never seen before. Cool. Um, really you're still, disrupting the space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're disrupting the space. <laughs> you're lightly on fire. Um, you're a, you're a pioneer. You're a, you're definitely a trendsetter, as as kobolds go. Mm. You're, this is all uncharted territory. Um, the halfling as well is just loving this. Um, this, is the, this is the kind of adrenaline thing that, that this mm. halfling, um, who's called Bits. Okay absolutely lives for. Uh, and I've told you uh, that their name is Bits because it's oh. the last opportunity to impart that information. <laughs> <laughs> um, because the minecart just picks up speed, uh, comes down a slope like this, plateaus out, the track stops, uh, and it just slams hard into <laughs> into stone wall, um, instantly killing you obviously. <laughs> uh, I have one. I have one hit point. <laughs> and the halfling. I'm gonna give him a saving throw. <laughs> well, the halfling. How many bits are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> really unpleasantly, I think the halfling actually uh, survived this death saving throw, but is by now like literally two miles down. Okay. In a, a crunched up bone heap. In a crunched <laughs> up bone heap, so. Oh, no. Sepsis will set in. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're not getting up. Who needs a new kobold? Me, <laughs> please. <laughs> Alarmingly, I don't. Yeah. With your uh, one hit point. <laughs> hands up if you need a new kobold. Welcome. Zubrish the Dry. Hmm. King the Modern. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. Good. I arrive oh, yeah. on a swagway. <laughs> and green, <laughs> the well read. Oh. <laughs> cool. Interesting. So, so I get any intelligence <laughs> that. Um, yeah, you can have plus 10 intelligence. Whoa! Oh, damn. Damn. All right. <laughs> Did you hear about the train spotter who was hit by a rail locomotive? He was chuffed to bits. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, okay, the druid and the dragonborn. Uh, have just seen their halfling pal sort of come up. They don't know what's happened. They don't know what's happened. Um, the dragonborn is going to turn to the druid and say, Melina, I thank you for putting your faith in me. It means a lot. I believe that this is the most sensible course of action. It may not be the most exciting, but I believe if we head down further into these tunnels, we will find the path under these mountains. Pray with me. And they do some. Well, they, they pray to Dragonborn God. Do they pray with their eyes open or closed? <laughs> <laughs> closed. Okay, I'm going to wait until they're praying and then with a shout of, You kill them all, you. I'm going to try and stab the Dragonborn in the neck. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, good idea. Roll me that attack. Right. With advantage because of the eyes closed situation. So that's a 14 or an 18. Hey. Oh. And I'm new, I'm five. Wait, you already got advantage. Yeah, we got, pack, we got pack advantage. advantage. Right. Okay. Unfortunately, no. I'm going to film the entire thing on my mobile, mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> How many is modern? <laughs> <laughs> I thought modern would be like a sort of a hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The printing press. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have I hit? Yeah, you did hit. Yeah. Oh, great. Um, roll me the damage on your dagger. That is five points of piercing damage. <gasps> oh! Posting that. You to killed the them all. Yeah. Ah. Uh. You never interrupt the sorcerer at prayer. Die! <laughs> Punch him in the face. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say they're gonna get uh, take a turn first. What's your armor class? Uh, Twelve. Um, this could be a one. Nah. Um, <laughs> well, a one would have done it. Uh, yeah, I think um, the druid uh, is going to sort of plead um, with, with the dragonborn on your behalf. Mm-hmm. Please, Sora Glad, these primitive creatures, they are 
not worth our time and not but but, but he's already <laughs> <laughs> he's he, he's already snapped your neck. Yeah, oh, God. I knew that was coming somehow. <laughs> it's gonna be a k- yeah, it's a it's like it's a k- to break the neck and then just drop. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I stop recording and put the mobile. <laughs> 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 Yeah, and um, oh, well, and who could have seen that coming? <laughs> now, in a terrible temper, uh, yeah, the the sorcerer. I'm going to start calling. We've, had, we've got their names: Sora, Glad, and Melina. Um, stomp off down the tunnels. Um, is anyone going to try and stop them or get in their way or anything? Mm. It's not necessarily blah, blah, advisable. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I continue to follow them. I, like a, I would like, like to follow them yeah. into the mines. I would like cool. to follow them at a distance and observe what they do next. Sure, um, they. As, as they proceed kind of downwards, um, you start to hear, you all start to hear, um, although the kobolds notice it first because it's one of your favorite sounds. It's singing. It's the singing of Gitvis, the oh. great worm. Her song, a special <laughs> trance song, echoing through the tunnels. Um, <laughs> not <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, it it won't be too much longer now before her her song is complete, and uh, and Kirtle Mark will surely be delighted, uh, and then feasting and twelve days of celebration. <laughs> well, I have to say, I preferred her old stuff. So. <laughs> but it's uh, but it's also. A great fear that you sense because um, the very worst thing that can happen in kobold society is is the great worm's song being interrupted uh, in some way, and you are getting nearer and nearer and nearer uh, to get this is, um chambers. Uh, as you progress, well, I'll tell you what you all know these tunnels best. Um, what are they coming to next? What's in the next cavern? What's next in their dungeon crawl? Uh, Cafeteria. What about like a rickety rope bridge over a big uh, like canyon? Pit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rickety rope bridge over a big canyon? Yeah. It's a classic. No, I do love it. Don't mess with the classics, I mm. say. Oh, for God's sakes, uh, <laughs> says Sora Glad. <laughs> One of these again. The, Can I have one of these again? Sorry? Can I have one of these again? A new kobold? Yeah, mm. absolutely. Who needs a new one? Just you. Just me. Grin the Clumsy. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Sure to love. Welcome to the team. <laughs> Grin the Clumsy is, I'm going to say Grin is currently uh, sat having lunch mm. uh, in the middle of this rickety rope bridge. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just swinging and swaying. Throwing grapes in the air and trying to catch them in my mouth yeah. sort of thing. Now this, I'm so hungry. <laughs> this rope bridge is not uh, dwarven. Um, there was a very, very, um, y- you can see at either side of, of the chasm that this thing crosses, the sort of stumpy remains of the, the dwarven bridge. Um, you know, it's sort of like tangle of stone and iron, um, an ancient mechanism that you've never been able to fathom. Uh, you've built, so you, you built your own bridge out of like bits of, bits of timber, bits of wood, bits of stone and like whatever rope you could make by weaving rat pelts and rat tails together. Mm-hmm. So it's rickety and it's kobold, kobold made. Um, I'm going to make a wisdom perception check for our heroes, which is not you. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's a 19 and a 17 without modifiers. Uh, yes. Um, Melina and Sora Glad look at each other and you see them exchange a look and they both nod in unison. Um, yes, we've seen a mechanism like this before. Yes, I remember. Down in the dwarven depths of Ban- Ban- Bandur- Bandurad. <laughs> ban- ban- Bandurad. Ban- ban- <laughs> ban- you won't believe how many accents and apostrophes. There are. <laughs> dots and, yeah, little dots, dots, and, dots and stuff like Lots that. Of um, yes, look for the mechanism. Uh, and they both just move to the walls and s- start looking around. You don't know what they're doing, mm. um, but they're you know they're sort of poking around on the walls. What do? <laughs> oh yeah, and and you're, you're sat. 
I text send help and then realize that no other kobolds have mobile phones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You put the phone away again. You've been live streaming this. Yeah. To, yeah. To, no to, one. to no one. Yeah. <laughs> well, can we we are trap we do traps, right? Can we can we put some traps on the bridge? Can we, you know, rig it up? You know. Yeah. I don't think they're going to use that bridge. You don't think they're going to use it at all. We don't know that. Well, I've read extensively about Dwarven Bridges. Touché. Mm. <laughs> so I think, they, yeah, they might be trying to do something with the bridge that we don't use. Mm. They might know something we don't about it. That's why they're touching the walls. Oh, mm. bridge not good enough, eh? I'm going to set a timer for one minute. <gasps> okay. Mm. Do you think we should set a trap? Mm. Well, I think we should see what they're going to do here and then see how we can turn it to our advantage. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. I You've always on. been the smartest one of yeah. us. Yeah, I would like to just watch what they're doing. Yeah, cool. I would like to do the same, but I'd just like to kind of like be sat right next to them, watching them in a kind of like slightly judgmental way. <laughs> yeah, uh, which one are you sat next to? The Which one are you following around, the druid or the dragonborn? Um, I think the dragonborn. The dragonborn. Yeah. Okay, you're getting under his feet. Um, you're not trying to be stealthy, you're not trying to sort of... No, I'm just kind of like watching him. Yeah. Um, what's your armor class? <laughs> Twelve. Yeah, he kicks you into the chasm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Zubrish. Um, yeah. But don't worry, because... Who's well, this? I'd still t- stay dry if it's got Did, no water yes, in the bottom. <laughs> but who's this sat in a, in a nearby nook? Why, it's Krez the Sloppy. <laughs> out um uh yeah so so the plan is you're not doing anything i'm observing and taking notes cool uh yeah melina goes got it and uh finding a something that appeared to be kind of rock but it actually upon closer inspection has a gleam of of ore metal to it uh yeah <laughs> like that uh she pulls a, li- a hidden lever and out of the lip of the chasm shoots a smooth metal um, uh, bridge, basically. It goes like that across to the other side, make, forming a perfect bridge. Um, it destroys the cobalt bridge. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep, sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sending your like, cobalt. It, well, you know, you, know, oh, wait, you know how like rope bridges kind of like go like that. Yeah. And so if you just cut it, anyone sitting in the middle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Head, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> From a nook, looking at this noise emerges. Kiz the uninhibited. <laughs> yeah. And what oh, is Kiz wearing? <laughs> That's not, a, not, not at all. <laughs> not, not at all. That's up to Kiz, really. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Sora Glad looks over at, at Melina and uh, nods in an approving kind of sort of well done kind of, kind of way. And yeah, they both walk across this bridge. I would like to pull the lever <laughs> as they go across. Love it. Okay, I was so, taking notes and seeing which one it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. All right, lever heavy, but I yeah go yes okay. Can I would help, but I'm intermittently fasting, so I, I do really say to the others. Today. <laughs> uh, I do say to the others that. Um, as Rudyard Kipling said, uh, he, he travels fastest, he travels alone. And yet, in this case, I feel like collective action would be I, look, I stare blankly. Course of action. Woo, yeah, murder party! Anyone would like Are to you help still me? evacuous? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on all surviving uh, Evacuous for life. Okay, You're going to be I the understand. new great worm if you make it. <laughs> <laughs> See if right. anyone else would like to help me. I put my little cobbled hands, my little grabby hands on the lever. I'll try. Yeah, everyone else. I'll give it, I'll, I'll try. Cool. So you're all just going to try and use your collective weight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, let's make this a strength check. That's only fair. And let's go for another cumulative roll. Yes. Okay. You can all do it at advantage. And oh. so who's doing it? How many? <laughs> oh, help Five, me. I think. Uh. Five doing it. Okay. So let's say you've got to beat a 40. Okay. Mm. Well, I got 17. I've got 16. Okay. So 20, 30. I've got 16 Minus as well. Two. And uh, 10. How are we doing? We've absolutely sailed through it. Yep. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, you all clamber up on this thing, and for a moment it doesn't move, and then it just kind of 
<laughs> like that. All those um, CrossFit classes paid off for modern kobold. With equal force and ferocity, the bridge shoots backwards. <laughs> 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 Um, just imagining Mike's character with a peloton <laughs> yeah, in exactly. his cave. Yeah. <laughs> Bluetooth headset. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, that's a saving throw. Okay, yeah. Sora Glad, uh, the Dragonborn, just drops. <laughs> the heavy Dragonborn stone he is. <laughs> <laughs> Into the chasm. Uh, Melina the Druid drops too, um, but after dropping for a, a few feet, there's a sort of soft <laughs> noise, and you see a sparrow. <laughs> like that, of course. Uh, yeah. I give modern uh, kobolds a big <laughs> kiss on, on the mouth. <laughs> yeah. and, I go, Woo! and I'm a modern guy, so I'm into it. <laughs> I immediately set about forming a polycule. <laughs> <laughs> Melina, the, the bird sort of like settles on the far side of the chasm and kind of landing elegantly sort of transforms back into her um, uh, her human form um looks over at the lever thing mm. that has that is now like <laughs> <laughs> opposition <laughs> with <laughs> <laughs> um let's do wall of fire <laughs> great uh can i counterspell that hello whoa what's this uh, sure you can. Great, explain. Uh, well, I just feel like if you said no, it would be really inhibiting my, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my role playing. Sure. <laughs> You're only inhibited in that you've got all of the spells and all yeah. the abilities. Melina rounds on you furiously and, uh, yeah, just with a sort of, uh, like, that's it. What you, he was, you have no idea the good he could have done. You have no idea what he was trying to protect. The damage you've wrought. You are no allies to nature. And <laughs> sends out a wall of flame, which kobold the uninhibited, I suppose you. To paraphrase William Congreve, hell hath no fury like a druid scorn. <laughs> so, uh, I figured wisdom probably for this. <laughs> Size <of> seven. <laughs> Ah, ah, wee! Fully nude. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure how counter spell works, so I just rolled a d20 for a vibe check on. Yeah. On yeah, and that was a three. So yeah, the flame wall is bloop, winks out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> Melina looks at you all across the chasm. <sighs> And turns around and she stomps off. <laughs> away from you all down the tunnel. At least to get after her, she could interrupt the, the great worm song. Yes. Pull this, <laughs> she's pull this lever again. She's stomping loudly, but yeah, you've uh, yeah, you're all on the wrong side of the chasm. Yeah, let's get this bridge back across. Pull them. <laughs> Even the 40. Can we try for true? Oh, need a 40. <laughs> oh, oh crap. We're doing all it again. Right. Well we got advantage, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Just like last time, yeah. This might, this, this should be harder because in my mind you're having to push it up. Yeah, it's eight from me. Uh, 12 from me. 20, 16. 20, uh, 30, 36. 12. Yeah, we're done again. Yeah. We did yeah. it. Cool. Yeah. Right. yeah. New bridge. All right. Uh, yeah. Scuttle cool. across. Can I get this yeah. worm song on Spotify? Uh, yeah. You, okay. Yeah, you. So we've got I'll a backup play, plan. Yeah, we've got a backup plan. <laughs> if you're so <laughs> getting started, I'll just play it on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you have Spotify, but 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 there's no songs on it. <laughs> there's no music on it. It's just an empty, <laughs> yeah. an empty application. You're gonna write the first ever song. We scamper at a speed of thirty feet. Yeah, yeah, as quickly as possible, mm -hmm. I imagine. Uh, yes, the, the the sound is now getting louder as you as you head down these these tunnels. There's a lot of kobolds lining them. Um, many of them are just if if they're not on on duty or if they don't have anything to do or if uh, like. They're just they're there getting ready, making ready for the for the feast. Some of them are just sat enjoying, sort of meditating, just enjoying the, the beautiful sound of, of, of the song of the great worm. Um, but they are looking at you all very concerned because as you head down this tunnel, which is a large uh, sort of glittering tunnel, you're now in the most sort of sacred and holy part of the and deepest part of the of the mountain tree. Ahead of you is the chamber. 
the chamber where Gitvis the Great Worm is lies in, in in her trance. It's a sort of uh, imagine like an igloo made of geode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. like nice. that's what it's like. And and the song, the, the crystals are like amplifying and making weird and beautiful the, the sounds that come from within. Um, and uh, yeah, Melina the Druid is just yeah just stomping towards it, and all the other kobolds are looking at you, not like. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> there were more of them. <laughs> um, oh, all right. Well, we need to let's fall upon her biting and glory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wee! Biting and glory. Cool. Uh, Fall uh, upon her biting and Yeah, cool. and just so you know, I'm just covered in beans from my lunch. Ah. Um, no. And so I just want to like yeah, get well. my stickers <laughs> all over her. Oh, so unpleasant. Yeah. Beans. Can we try and rally the other? <laughs> can we try and rally the other kobolds in here to fall upon her biting glory? Yes, you can try. Okay. How will you do it? Slap um, them on the rump. I would like to get in there. Pow. Wee. I'd like to deliver a passionate <laughs> intelligent speech. To the kobolds. Cool. Let's set this. Uh, let's set this DC fifteen, which doesn't really reflect okay. the difficulty of you in making the speech, but the difficulty in getting them to like listen and understand it. Pack tactics is for attacks, not skill checks, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Sorry. All right. That's an eleven. Uh, you deliver a rousing speech, and it is rousing. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyone. Who wasn't a kobold <laughs> <laughs> would be roused. <laughs> I'm, like, yeah. I'm like the rhetoric, and I'm pounding the, the table, and they're all just like. <laughs> In fact, Melina's not a kobold. She looks over her shoulder and hears it and says, "Nice speech." Yeah. Do you want to consider maybe not disrupting our most holy and precious ceremony? Do you want to consider this thorn whip? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> thought, you, thought you were a peaceful druid. So much for the tolerance. Before the point of biting Um Well, it'll have to be someone else. Oh, okay. Fine. Aww. Yeah. Oh, you, so they say if you can get through to one cobalt. <laughs> yeah. You are you are thorn whipped clean in half. Oh, um, yeah, right. But you know what? Ironic. Ironically, the other kobolds see this and they don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I think you've started a bit of a movement. I throw my body on the thorn whip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jam the gears of the thorn yeah. with my bones. <laughs> a biting and clawing movement mm. is starting. Yeah, okay, so the I'm plan is... I'm going to launch myself at, at Melina's face. Yeah, great. Cool. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, I'll tell you what, at this point, we haven't done it so far because it's just not practical. Let's go into initiative. Okay. <gasps> watching, yeah. watching this unfold and joining the battle is a new kobold. Yes. Uh, it's your own, It's everyone's favourite. Crocky the Forgiving. Oh. <laughs> oh, Folks, so let's not be hasty, all right? She's clearly been through a lot today. Um, we've all had bad days. We've all been there. I think we just sit down, have a chat. I think we can work this out. Right, everyone roll me uh, for initiative. Mm-hmm. Our old, is a, a d20 plus your dexterity. Oh, okay. uh, four. Oh, seven. 16. Uh, 18. Two, Alina, come on. 21. <gasps> nice. Uninhibited. <laughs> <laughs> Unfettered by clothing. <laughs> <laughs> that was 21. Cool. Yep. Uh, Jane Kobold. 16. 16. Brilliant. Mike Kobold. Uh, four. Andy Kobold. 18. Ellen Kobold. Uh, it was seven. Right. So obviously you're each in control of one individual Kobold here. Mm. But I'm going to say that the rallying effect of your like attack on Melina um, is such that you basically each have a little cobalt tally at your command. Nice. Wow. Um, so yeah, you can, it'll all happen on your, as a bonus action on your turn, you can have your little battalion um, try and do something as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the, that's the the fudge in the moment that feels yep. right to me. Cool. <laughs> Johnny Cobalt, what do you? Okay, so um, I feel like I, I have to keep the stats the same, but instead of a dagger, I just feel deep in my soul uh, that Kiss has an empty tequila bottle. <laughs> 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 so I'd like to try and just do a good like smash 
Yeah. Um, Melina, I would like my um, my cohort to um, basically all of them just take off their loincloths and use them as slings. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Completely uninhibited, all of them. All right. Brilliant. So it's a sort of like big projectile sort yep, of thing. Just okay. like a, a volley of, of small stones. Great. Uh, yeah, well, roll me your attack and also roll me their attack. Great. Uh, are we getting pack tactics for this? Yep. Okay. You can do everything with pack tactics. Uh, right. So 11, 15 for the, for the tequila bottle. Yep, that's a hit. And then uh, 19 for the slings. Cool, yeah, um, that all hits. Impressively, yeah, so. The dagger does six damage. Cool. And then, should I just roll up the slings? Do yeah. three damage, but how many are there? Three, they're, I'm gonna say they do three damage. Uh, let's triple it. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, so. Uh, 21 damage, all, all in all. Six, seven, nine. Nine? Oh, wait. So oh, nine no. from the slings plus four. What was it? Oh, no, sorry. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. yeah we're not tripling your damage. We're triple the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nine, um, nine plus six is. Yeah, 50. Uh, you cool. said triple, I times it by five. Uninhibited by math. Bound by your numbers. <laughs> In any case, uh, yeah. he's gone full, full non Euclidean. You yeah. spring forth uninha- uninhibited mm. by clothes or anything really mm-hmm. and produce a tequila bottle from god knows where and yeah just <laughs> clock this druid around the head with it uh yeah beads and bits of moss fly off um yeah and then as she spins around furiously staring at you all there is a yeah she's like peppered in the face with like pebbles and stuff like ah, ah, ah. she's already got a chipped tooth that's probably gone uh yeah, yeah she's already lost a tooth mm-hmm. and chipped another one andy cobalt um i think this druid's getting a bad rap from everyone. I think, you know, we're all just one bad day away from bursting into a um, great worm song, <laughs> interrupting a holy ceremony. So I'd like to just go up and just hug her around the legs and just let her know that at least one of these kobolds understands what she's going through. Forgive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, In fact, all of my battalion are going to do this. We're all just going <laughs> to wrap our arms around her legs. Um, Forgive. As, as tight as we possibly can. Okay, cool. Um, well, yeah, make me a, well, yeah, we'll call this a grapple check and you okay. basically can make two, uh, one for you and one for your cohort. And this is with? You can do it all at, all at advantage. Okay. Because, wow, the numbers you're up against. Do you have one anything of... that beats 24? No. <gasps> uh, yeah, you come up. It, it's sweet, really, but um, Melina's in no mood. Um, she's not yeah. ready to forgive herself. Yeah, that's the problem. Isn't it? <laughs> she's not ready to forgive herself yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She she kicks you all. She, well, I suppose she, she hasn't made a move, has she? Mm. But um, she. We fail to hug her. You somewhere. fail to hug her. You come you come up close, and then you all lose your nerve. We bit. come up close, and we're just like, you know like, what? Uh, uh, she's giving kind of keep away vibes, and that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like you got to cool. give someone space. Yeah. Let give, them come to, come to you. Give come Melina space. Yeah. Yes. Uh, That's okay. fine. I, do, I get it. I get it. Uh, Jane Cobalt. Okay, purely on instinct. I don't have a dagger. I've lost it somewhere. I don't have a sling. I've also lost it somewhere. Uh, but I've got half a rat and a strip of copper. Oh, yeah. That I looted from my friends. My copper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I launch myself like a flying squirrel at her face. Yep. Just like glomming on to. <laughs> It's clawing the facial in area. Great. Yeah. Jam the copper wire into your eyeball. Yeah. And what are you directing your cohort to do? Same sort of thing? Same sort of thing. A, like a, a cohort of flying squirrels. Follow you. Yep, yeah, cool. All right. Uh, yeah, roll me the attack for everyone. All right. Oh. Call it. Yeah. All right. That is. And I feel like it's a dexterity kind of move to launch yourself like a flying squirrel, right? Yeah, that's okay. All right, well, your, that's your, your teeth and claws can be a finesse weapon. A grand total of eight. Cool. And how about your and your? For your oh, cohort? I'm rolling to them as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fifteen. You miss. Oh. 
But uh, <laughs> you like, yeah. Yeah, you can just sail past Doppler effect. <laughs> like that. Yeah. But that's fine because I've become weirdly invested in you not being too. Yeah. <laughs> you are one of the uh, yeah. In fact, one of your cohort says, No, you are one of the oldest and wisest. <laughs> <laughs> you must be protected. Stay back. Uh, and they in, in your place all oh. launch themselves oh, uh, towards nice. Melina and yeah, do uh, yeah, claw and bite at her face. Okay. Um, roll me a roll me a D four. Okay. And triple the result. All right, that is a nine. Wow. Cool. <sighs> Great, Ellen Cobalt. Right, I would just like to get all the food stuff that I've kind of like squirreled away on my person. And down your front. And down my front and everything. <laughs> and try and throw it all at her feet to try and make her fall over and then have my friends also run and like pin her. Okay, cool. And so, all their hands are real sticky. <laughs> ew. So we'll roll first for your attempts to trip yeah. her up. Yeah. Okay, so and how are you tripping her up from her? Like throwing uh, stuff under just her Just throwing feet? like banana peels. beans, banana peels, exactly like tomato, and any, I've just got like, just lots of food stuff stashed away on me and just mm. like also just on me. Nice. Yeah, so make me a... Uh, Dex let's just to make it, sure that I throw it at her feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just call this 12. B12. <gasps> Is that one? Okay. All that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if I have advantage, I can throw it, throw it again, right? Or is it if it's a one, that's it? Yeah, no, advantage you can. Is okay. it an attack roll? It's yeah. not an attack roll. This. No. Oh. Oh. No, 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 but I said you could do everything in advantage. Oh, okay. oh yeah, of the, course. The, yeah. The, co the, co the concentration of kobolds oh, is so great. Oh, the one. 18? 18. Yeah. 18? Yeah. Uh, with, with dex is 20, day 20. Cool. You throw your scattery bits underneath Melina. <laughs> that has worked. Yeah. Is Melina going to trip though? Okay. She's upright. Oh. Like covered but. in bacon bits and yeah, greasy. But greasy. Upright. Well, yeah. can the rest of my. It's like this. She sort of stumbles and trips and like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, and but yeah, yeah regains her footing. But then my little gang. Yeah, <laughs> just you, gonna... You've still given them the shove order. They, yeah, so they're yeah, still yeah. gonna they're still they're still gonna try a shove. Yeah. It's just Okay. It's gonna be hard enough. Oh that did not land on anything. Okay, that would be no. <laughs> just roll two twos. Oh dear. None of those beats. With strength, minus two. Dirty zero. 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 Yeah, all your followers Sneak run nice. up and put their hands <laughs> <laughs> this again on Melina's greasy shins. Okay, it's her oh. turn now. <laughs> and if I'm her, and I'm looking at this. Probably surrender, yeah? <laughs> That's actually not a spell written down here. <laughs> I think. And looking at this, I'm a druid in a bad situation. Probably time to cast Call Lightning. Oh. Call Lightning. A storm cloud appears in the shape of a cylinder that is 10 feet tall with a 60 foot radius centered on a point you can see within range directly above you. Uh, the spell fails. You can't see a point in the air where the storm cloud could appear. For example, if you're in a room that can't accommodate the cloud, maybe this can't be done. Yeah, I was about to say, you've got to be, have a, a big tunnel. space up top. Yeah, oh, I was saying, maybe this isn't going to work. Okay, I think she's had her turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think probably just as a bonus action, she's going to turn into a bear. Oh, okay. But oh, wait, just, what, yeah. what's, uh, what, what type of druid is she? Because she's already used wild shape twice in one day. Damn. I know D&D. &D. <laughs> yeah. I know my, I am the dream. Octopus is Yeah. Damn, you're right. Check this bark. Ace rules attorney. All these spells and you just completely flubbed your turn. I mean, yeah. turning into a sparrow was smart. Yeah, that it was, was yeah, smart. you kind of had to. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, so here's what Melina does. Um, Melina looks around her, says, Get cooked, cobalt scum! In a real about face with that, like. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, Showing goes, your true colours. Goes, ah, like that. Her eyes sort of flash white and lightning sparks out of her mouth. 
and presumably somewhere above ground, a storm cloud may be forming, yeah. but nothing happens down here. Damn. And she goes, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then gets down on all fours and goes, Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's all I see. We're like, why are we here? Like, what are we doing for this? We're back! <laughs> yeah. I know it's so wild! Rah, 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 rah. I'm a bear! Woo! I'm a sexy bear! <laughs> and then goes, oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, Melina. Um, Mike Kobolds, it's your turn. Oh, no. Uh, um, I mean, oh, that's a pitiable scene, but yeah. also, you know. See, playing the Druid's hard. Uh, <laughs> uh, so my my little cohort and my and my CrossFit crew, they're all wearing little like <laughs> tank tops oh, with CrossFit, oh. but with a K like a kobold. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, okay, yeah. And um, and so yeah, we're all going to attack on mass, basically, just to, you know, your average dagger attack, I think, probably. Um, sure, they're all doing weird chin-ups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool, see if it hits, it's a 15 to beat. <laughs> uh, 15 to beat, yeah. you say. Uh, is that, it's a dex, isn't it, for a finesse weapon, right? Yeah, and you get advantage. And you get advantage. Uh, don't need it, that's an at 20. Nice, okay, yep. Crossfit that dagger. Yep. Raise her face. Uh, what are you having your cohort do, the same thing? Uh, yeah, exactly the same yeah, thing. Roll me there, roll for them as well. Yeah. Uh, that is a 15 for the first one, and yeah, 15 is my best one. Yep, 15 will do it. Yeah, everyone hits. Cool, and then it's uh, 1d4 plus 2, correct? Yep. You get extra damage That's for the nat That's a d8. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> do you get that extra damage for the nat 20? Yes, I've never used one of those for you. Yeah. Do you get extra damage for doing it a natural drink? Oh, sorry. Uh, 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 yeah, you double, you double the dice. Um, um, sorry, I was just uh, taken aback by Mike saying he's never rolled a d4 before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like I have. I don't see this one very often. I think I remember. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, well, now, well, how exciting. You get to roll it twice. Right, because, okay. Yeah, because you crit, crit So for my my attack is two, 2 d4 then, plus yeah. 2. So that is a 2. So that's 4. And, uh, and, and a 4. So, uh, eight overall. Cool. Uh, and then for the for my cohort, yeah, uh, that is four overall. Cool. So twelve. You, tri you triple it. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Sorry, I thought you had. What did, what did you get? Uh, I got two on there, so that's two, six, six, six. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so. Cool, six great. All together. Uh, Johnny Cobalt, you're up again. Um, after like. We're all pretending to be bears now, so I'm just going to try and maul her. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Swipe with claws, that kind of thing. Yep. 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 Go for it. Uh, so that's an eight from me, mm -hmm. or a nat 20 from my cohort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't make not... it work, but the cohort do. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think I try and go too high concept. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just You're like, Paddington Bear. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say I'm wandering around yelling, oh bother, and trying to find honey. <laughs> um, but yeah. they are going to do two plus two is four times three is 12. Nice. 12 points of damage. 12 points of, of method bear acting damage. Wait, but do you double the dice for the natural? Oh, thing? yeah. Yes, I do. Um, so. Oh, yeah. Not to add more math. 12, uh, 24 total. Because I rolled another two. Plus um, two times three is. Okay. Uh, Andy Kobold, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Here's the scene as it uh, appears to you. Uh, Melina, not a bear, is covered in kobolds. Um, the some CrossFit of the, crew. Some of the kobolds in CrossFit things are just stabbing her with their <laughs> little knives. Sure. And, and then they're doing little chin ups on the knives. Yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> um, some of. Uh, some of the Johnny's Kobolds crew uh, are just sort of like biting. Mm -hmm. There's basically no druid visible. It's a roiling mass of, how okay. did you put it? Clawing and biting? Clawing and biting. <laughs> Clawing and biting. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's 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 working. Mm. What would you like to do? Um, gosh, this is, um, this is pretty harrowing. I feel like it would be uh, a kindness now to <laughs> put her out of her misery. <laughs> I would like to um, How forgiving of you. <laughs> try and sling a rock into her face. Sure, go for it. Okay. Uh, 19. Hold it. And a 
and 13. So yeah, 19. Would you prefer this to be fatal or not fatal? I mean... It's kind of... Yeah, it's kind of, isn't it? Uh, lawful evil, I believe, is what yeah. we are. That's what it says. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm very forgiving, but... Um, but the, maybe the greatest forgiveness is to yeah. send her to a god. Yeah, send her to a druidic god. To send her to the, the great elf farm in the yeah. sky. Yeah. <laughs> you standing atop of a, a little rock, you sort of spin up your sling. Yeah. Uh, I say, I forgive you. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, you release one half of your sling and yeah, your little pebble kind of arcs up. Um, Melina sort of bursts up all of a sudden, scattering kobolds everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, she's like, her clothes are all gnawed and tattered and she's bleeding from like a thousand little cuts. And she goes, ah! And then a pebble hits her just right in the temple. <laughs> uh, and she just, yeah. Um, deleted. Slumps to the ground, <laughs> deleted. And for a moment, the only sound you can hear is the uninterrupted worm song. Oh. Yeah. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> Reverberating around the crystals. Jolly spring, spring breaking around the place. <laughs> yeah. 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 But quietly. Yeah. And reverentially. Reverentially. <laughs> <laughs> and lo, twas said that that year the kobolds. Did uh, feast for 12 straight days. Feast was the most merry of all. Uh, and you all feasted like kobold kings on <laughs> adventurers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and we read out the great scroll of our fallen. Yes, <laughs> and yes. it did take 18 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and you were not troubled by the scourge of Gratvar the wizard, yeah. who blighted... <laughs> who marched into the caves and destroyed everything. Who blighted the overworld so terribly for centuries to come. Sounds like an overworld. <laughs> <laughs> Unhindered. But yes, this was not the kobold's concern. We all bowed our knee to our worm god and also our most venerable. Yeah. Jane Cobalt. Yeah. I the, ascended. The tribe elder. All the tribe elder. <laughs> and in the fullness of time, get this did come to you, <laughs> Jane Cobalt the yes. Vacuous. Yeah. And it placed her elderly crystal crown. Crystal, crystal crown on you and said, <laughs> Tis done. <laughs> And then she fell in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> and, was, and was swept away by a, by a river current. And the new, the new great worm did I have become worms. <laughs> Hooray! Yeah. 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 Well done, everyone. Well done, Luke. Well 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 Thank you, Luke. Hey, that, was, that was great fun. A lot oh. of fun. That was brilliant. I want to play a cobalt all the time now. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, please do subscribe to this channel. Please check out uh, Johnny. Johnny, where can people find you? Uh, YouTube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. And uh, if you would like to support the work we do, um, maybe check out our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash OX Club. Thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you again for another Accenture. Bye. 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 Let's get into it. Good luck, have fun, everyone. Total party. Total party. <laughs> you died. You <laughs> have a total party. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Trick shot. <laughs> you want to lose your memory? Why? I've seen some bad things. <laughs> Liliana is our mortal enemy. If She's tried to kill us a hundred times. I need your help. <laughs> <laughs>